I'm going to renovate my guppy jar. A couple of issues here. One, plants have gotten way out of hand and there's not much room for them to swim around. And the planter is just taking way too much space relative to the jar. Water's a little cloudy too, which is, oh, which is not a bad sign necessarily. Um, but I do want to add some land plants and uh, yeah, so gonna do that now. And now I'm just gonna remove some of the plants, floating plants, which I've done, started to do. Uh, that's the, um, that's the java moss and frog bit. And uh, we can keep this a wesser tang, that's fine, no big deal. And yeah. Oh, you guys are curious what's going on in my tank, what's going on? All right, so next I'm going to take out the planter because Oh, it's kind of nice. It's just it's just too big for this space. So okay, I've washed my hands. I'm gonna slowly remove this. Um, and yeah, just put it somewhere for now. It's not a not a huge deal. There may be snails there, so I'll have to make sure that I uh, deal with them appropriately. But either way, they'll go into some kind of uh, living enclosure. Yeah, it's pretty filthy there. Very filthy. Oh, you poor guys, yash. And then next, instead of having a planter, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in uh, these new Lucky Bamboo plants that I got from the Reptile Expo. And I think the height is perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a quick wash and then place it in. And then I'm going to fasten the java moss to this uh, stump with uh, just a twisty tie. So that one's going to go after it was washed and put together. I'm just going to put it, I think, like uh, just like that because I'm going to be putting it into my uh, into my um, my shelf, so it needs to fit so I'm just gonna just do that I think there we go okay and the next one um, I just fastened some guppy grass in the same fashion so just with a twisty tie and then on the bottom um, I put I forget what this lympho I forget what this plant is but it's lovely it's, it can be free floating and fastened to and it grows like crazy. So I put that actually into a loop that was naturally there in the roots. So I didn't have to use a twist tie or anything like that. So that one is also gonna go in. Hold on guys. Here we go guys. Okay. So yeah, that, uh, that looks good. As long as I control the guppy grass and uh, the moss, it should be good, but it, I, there's now uh, a lot of space for them to swim around. Let's see, just around. Okay, so far so good. And of course, I love combining crystals with my, just with anything really, but especially with my aquascape. So this is a beautiful, really, I need the proper lighting really beautiful pink uh oh, that's a piece of my hair <laughs> beautiful pink piece of rose quartz and that's gonna go in there somewhere let's just plop it okay and i can adjust it accordingly excuse me little guys just move it now i'm moving a lot of the poop and the stuff that is filtered down to the gravel, which really is something to be avoided when you're doing low tech stuff, but it's not too bad. And I don't really muck about, haha, <laughs> muck about. I don't really, hey, hey you. I don't really muck about much, so uh, it should be okay for now. Like, whoa, like, whoa, that is a big snail. 
As far as bladder snails go, that's a pretty, one of the biggest ones I've seen. He's a tank. And in the interest of making space, which was mainly the, one of the main intentions behind this whole project. Hello guys, watch out. I'm gonna move the Subwasa Tang just around the base. Uh, yeah, just move it. I'm not doing the best camera work here. It's not easy. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to move it along the base so that they have room to swim around. Um, yeah. Okay. And definitely frog bit. I love frog bit. Uh, it's beautiful. And I'm just gonna place that at the top there. There we go. I do have more frog bit. This is my Java Moss and frog bit container. So it is growing there and I probably should give it a bit more light um, for it to grow better. But I'm just looking at this. You know, is that enough? Let's uh, just give it a bit of a whirl. Shake it, baby. Turn around for me. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Not too shabby at all. I might add a little bit of gravel. Oh, just a tad bit of gravel. Yeah, messy as Fuck, I could have probably done that a better way. Excuse me, little man. Hey, excuse me. Just moving things to create a nice ground cover. Create a substrate layer so that the poop can uh, rest and become the floor. Okay. I think it looks good. Uh, I always have a tendency to overpopulate uh, the space with plants and I don't want to do that. It looks okay. They have a lot more space to swim. Hey. They have a lot more space to swim, so that's good. That makes me happy. The Subwester Tang is kind of just like free floating, which is okay. And I might even take some of it out just in the interest of space. Um, not too sure. Uh, but yeah, that, that looks like it could be fine. I just have to test it out in my, uh, in my rack. Just a little bit of a water change. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I just, uh, I, I don't have any dechlorinated water right now. I forgot to um, create my, create that. I'll make a video about that later, but uh, yeah, just uh, slowly just pour this in so it doesn't create too much waves. Yeah, so it's dechlorinated Brita filtered water. Should just provide a good little top up. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of duckweed. Got a bit of duckweed in my duckweed container here. There we go. And bloop. Off with you. Go. Go forth. Okay, and the final touch, I secured a piece of twisty tie here, formed another loop here, which I'm gonna use to, yep, 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 you guessed it, pothos cutting. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> probably have to do that without holding the camera. And there we go. I've got the pothos fastened, bonded to the uh, lucky bamboo. Hello, hello, hello. 
And that's perfect. That should help with uh, filtering and cleaning the tank. And yeah, I took out some of the uh, other extra subwasser tanks, only that little clump there. And maybe a couple of random pieces here and there, but that's, I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. I'm just gonna stop there. So yeah, this is its final home space in this little, uh, this little rack here. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, I guess I could try to make the, the bamboo, the lucky bamboo stalks go at the very bottom, but that's not too important. The roots will naturally sort of seek, seek the poop underneath. But everything looks good. Uh, the only thing that I'm, uh, the, I mean, I, I was hoping for um, a lucky bamboo that was the perfect height. This is a little bit too tall. I could cut it there and uh, it'll obviously, I, I'm pretty sure it'll root, but I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. This is okay. Uh, both of these plants don't need, um, crazy amounts of light or even bright light they can they can thrive they can survive pretty well on on a good amount of light and we got bright you know facing light coming in here so yeah there we go that is it hey y'all hey you i think they're happy they got lots more space now to swim around lots more space and much less um Plants getting in their way. Uh, you know, they've, they've got an opportunity, opportunity to swim 360 degrees around here. Uh, I can trim that guppy grass a little bit more to create more space. Um, but it's great. It gives the fry space to hide while also giving the 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 adults uh, room to swim about. And there's the tank. Hello, tank. You the man, bruh. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, with that setup and with that renovation. And I'm gonna give it a, a, a day for everything to settle down, for the water to clear up. I know now that when that because the pothos is in there and the lucky bamboo's in there, that it's gonna be great. Uh, it's gonna really be sucking up all of the the nutrients in that poop and we're gonna have a nice little ecosystem going on here and my guppies look they look good they're exploring and um yeah they're they're they look happy so i'm i'm happy oh and i also added an extra piece of frog bit over there and everything's looking great yay